Lightning strikes cause great damage to power and communications facilities. In an ever-advancing ICT society, it is critical to prevent lightning strike-induced damage. NTT Space Environment and Energy Laboratories are developing lightning strike control and charging technology to prevent hits on critical facilities and acquire electric power from lightning. Here is a conceptual image of this technology. Drones and wires are used to form paths through which lightning is induced to prevent it from striking cities. Also, the electric current from lightning strikes is channeled to lightning charging cars. Thus, lightning can be used as a source of electric power. However, lightning strikes produce ultra-high voltage and high current. Moreover, the current technology cannot predict when and where they occur in a thundercloud, which can be 10 kilometers long. To meet these challenges, we are working on various technical issues shown here. Let me introduce one of them, lightning-resistant drones. This is the world's first lightning-resistant drone that we are developing. The drone is protected from lightning strikes by a metal shield called a Faraday cage. We examined the lightning resistance of this drone by striking it with artificial lightning. Let's look at the lightning strike scene once again with super slow replay. Even after being hit by a lightning strike, the drone is able to fly without any failure or malfunction. This experiment also confirmed that lightning can be guided using a wire. We will develop technology for controlling lightning and technology for using lightning as a source of electric power with an aim of making these commercially applicable as early as possible.